a man is capable of lifting a hundred pound stone on land, how heavy a stone could he lift underwater? The specific gravity of the stone is 2.5. So let me first of all draw a free body diagram of the stone uh, being lifted in air. So here's the weight of the rock and the man is capable of um, lifting a 100 pound rock um, in air. Um, so now if we put that same rock in water, there's the surface of the water, here's the rock. Um, the um, rock now can have a larger weight call that W prime rock um, and the man is uh, still only going to be able to exert the same force as he did before there's that force the same as what he previously was able to use to lift this in air but then he can lift the larger rock because there's an additional buoyant force and because of that the rock that he can lift can have a larger weight and so clearly from this last picture, last tree body diagram, we can say that W prime rock, that's the weight of the rock that he can lift when it's in water, is equal to the force that he can exert plus this point force. The sum of these two vectors, in other words. And so um, that is equal to let's uh, let's let's go on down here. That's going to be equal to F man plus the buoyant force, but the buoyant force is equal to the volume of the rock um, times the density of water times the acceleration of gravity. <clears throat> So um, we know that the rock has a specific gravity of 2.5, which means the rock's mass divided by its volume is equal to 2.5 times the density of water. In other words, the volume is equal to the mass of the rock divided by 2.5 times the density of water. So if I substitute this V here into um, this V in, on the right side of my formula, I get F man plus M over 2.5 rho sub W times rho sub W times G. You can see that the rho sub W's cancel m times g is just w prime and so that's going to be equal to f man plus w prime rock over 2.5 so <clears throat> I'm going to bring this w prime rock this term over onto the left side and I'm going to get w prime rock minus w prime rock divided by 2.5 equals F man. I can factor the uh, left side W prime rock times 1 minus 1 over 2.5 is equal to F man and now I can solve for W prime rock W prime rock is equal to F man divided by 1 minus 1 over 2.5. 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2.5, the denominator is 0.6. The numerator is 100 pounds. That is the weight of the rock that in um, this left free body diagram that he could lift in air. 
and uh, dividing the 100 pounds by 0.6 um, increases the weight of the rock he can lift to 167 pounds. Um, and that's it.